Maple TA end of semester summary assignment question number nine. Chelsea ran a marathon. It took her 5.1 hours to run the 26.2 miles required to complete a marathon. Find her average speed in miles per hour, then convert her speed to feet per second. Hint, one mile equals 5,280 feet. So I have our information over here that she ran, oops, I lost 5.1 hours for the 26.2 miles. And I want my answer to be in uh, feet per second. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up our road map by letting myself know that I'm going to equal my fraction down here. I want it to be in feet per second. And that helps me know that I'm doing distance on top and time on the bottom so that everything uh, ends up working out. Uh, so I follow my road map. So on the, uh, the top here I have all of this information and I see I have 26.2 miles. This is distance so I'm going to put it on the top so that it matches this. 26.2 miles. So I have distance on the top and I have 5.1 hours so I know this goes on the bottom where I have time down here. Now I just need to toss in some conversions. Uh, so I'm going to multiply this by uh, either miles or hours, whichever way gets me down to feet and seconds. So the first thing um, we can do what they told us, which was one mile is 5,280 feet. And because I have miles up here and I want to get rid of miles, to cross that out, if I have it divided by miles, I'll put miles down here, then um, I know that feet go up here. And so I have 5,000. 280 feet for every one mile. I guess I could put mile, but either way. So these miles will cancel out, and then I have feet per hours. But I still wanted feet per second, so I need some more conversions in here. So I'm going to multiply this by yet another uh, unit conversion. So I have hours on the bottom. To get rid of hours on the bottom, I'll put in hours on the top and replace it with something else. Uh, so in this case, the next option after hours is minutes. So I will put one hour is 60 minutes. One hour. But I'm not quite done yet because I still need to get to seconds. So I need to multiply this by yet another unit conversion. And if I want to get rid of minutes on the bottom, I need to put minutes on the top and replace it with seconds on the bottom. And I know that there are 60 seconds for every one minute. And let's verify that all of these can uh, cancel out. All right, so I'm going to come to our strikeout feature and see what all canceled out. So these miles canceled out with these miles. Uh, these hours canceled out with uh, these hours. So I can strike those out. Uh, these feet did not cross out with anything. So that's good because I want it to end in feet. Uh, minutes canceled out with minutes. And I'm left with seconds. So that's good. I have feet and I have seconds. Now I just need to multiply all of the numbers and divide all of that. And for that, I'm going to use Excel. So let's scoot this over and work in Excel. Um, Move this over a little bit so we can see everything. Okay, so uh, multiplying and dividing goes from left to right, or because um, it's only multiplying and dividing, I can just throw this all in and Excel will know how to do that. So we'll do equals 26.2, and I want to multiply that by 5,280. And then multiply that by, oh, 1 and 1, which is 1, so I can leave that. Now I need to divide by all of that on the bottom, or I can keep saying divide, but we'll put in parentheses so that we know that it's all on the denominator. So 5.1, and what else? Times 60, and times yet another 60. And all of that's on the denominator, so it looks like we're good to go. We can press enter, and we have 7.5 uh, feet per second, and we can put our answer in there, or we can just come over here and see if we have an answer that matches here. Do we have, oh, we didn't find 
the uh, miles per hour first. Well, that's pretty fast. We have our miles right here over hours. So let's hurry and throw that in Excel as well. We have 26.2 and 5.1 equals 26.2 divided by 5.1 will give me miles per hour. I apologize we didn't do that first. Uh, okay, and now we can come in here and find where those will match. We need 5.1, uh, the 7 rounds up the 3 to a 4, and I see two of these, oh, three different options. So let's check on the sec feet per second to see which one matches. Uh, 25, 7.25 does not match my 7.53. Oh, here we have 7.53. Uh, so that should be the answer. Just double check here. Nope. So this is our answer for uh, finding her miles per hour and her feet per second.